What's up people, this is Fluffy Bunny, Viva La Android, and today I have the top 10 apps that you're really, really, really gonna want. I have no idea what I'm doing with my hands right here, <laughs> it looks retarded. But yeah, before I get started with this video, here are the top Instagram pictures of the week, hashtag Viva La Android. If you want your picture to be in my next episode, make sure to hashtag as Viva La Android, just like my YouTube name on Instagram, and I'll make sure to check it out. If I like it, I'll put it in my next video. And before we get started, I just want to say thank you guys, all of you, for liking my past video. It's been for almost three days now and it has over 700 likes that's crazy that makes me so happy you guys don't even understand i just want to say thank you guys and like always if you enjoyed this video make sure to like these videos and you know it just makes me want to make more videos for you guys it shows that you guys like these videos and i really appreciate all the likes i've been getting for my videos so let's get started with the top 10 apps here's a quick glimpse at the 10 apps and as you can see the first app is called floating touch and it's actually right here it's a notification bubble that you can move wherever you want whatever notification you get it pops up right there and you can actually click it and it tells you that I have six new messages on my Gmail now this works with almost every single app that's what it says when you first launch it and you can customize how big you want the icon or where you want it to go so I can put it at the bottom I can put it at the top or I can put it in the middle so if I click it and then click the message itself it's gonna launch to the app so for instance this is Gmail it launched it and now if I pull this down the notification for the six unread emails are gone if I take the app itself I can go into the customize tab and you see that I can choose how big I can make the font it shows you an example right here like it's really deep there's animation settings too you can enable these and then it's you know customize these themselves you can even change the icon pack for the app so if you wanted to display an icon pack instead of just a normal app icon you can choose which icon pack you want right here and you can even get more from the play store so once i take the application list i can go through every single one of my apps and if i want to enable it i'll go to instagram for an example if i check it now i can't go through explain every single setting right here but if you hold down your finger on each one it's going to give you an example of what that means the next app is called floating youtube and i find this app really really useful so you're not going to actually click the app itself you're going to launch youtube so you're just going to want to play a video that you want to make it play in the background so i just chose one of my videos after it's playing you just press the share icon you go down and you find the floating youtube player you take it and now you see that it's loading and now it's playing on my home screen. I can go between pages. Now I can hold and drag wherever I want to put it. Now this is useful if you're watching a really, really long video and you keep going back and forth texting someone. You can keep it playing and text someone at the same time while watching a YouTube video. Now I can make it bigger or smaller by holding the edge of it. I can make it really big, put it to the edge and put it right here. Now this is like full screen playing wherever I am on my phone. Browsing the internet and using YouTube at the same time you can do whatever you want so check this app out I'm sure you guys would enjoy it the third app is called action launcher which is basically made to be quick and to launch apps as quick as you need this is the setup I have on it you can back up your settings from your original launcher and put it here so it just puts everything as how it was so when you swipe your hand from the left to the right it's gonna launch the app drawer now it's in the list like this are you gonna be wondering okay it's gonna take me forever to go down and select the app so you can just wipe and then use the letters right here to go to whatever app you want so let's say I want to go to I I'll go to I really quick right here and I'll just launch Instagram it's that quick now you can even use the search icon right here so if I click this this also searches for all your app and then you can just click and launch right away from there it also has a Google Play icon right there which launches the Play Store right away so you can make folders which are clickable to the internet browser but once you go back and click the bottom of it actually you can make a launch up and put apps in there which are kind of hidden so no one can see and then once you go into the settings you can of course customize it to how you like it and how you want it to look like the next app is called flash blink on call now if you have a flash on the back of your phone you can enable this so I have them both enabled right here I can turn them off and back on and then you can do this to test it if I move it right here it's gonna flash really really slow if I move it back this way gonna flash faster now this is just to show you how it's gonna blink when your phone rings or gets a text message now the only bad thing with this app is that it only works with incoming calls and text messages and I know not a lot of people use text messages now it's more like whatsapp and kick messenger and all that but it's good for incoming calls so make sure to check this app out the next app is called word wave and this is actually a keyboard which is also made to be quick and to get to what you want really quick 
So the menu is really, really simple, but I don't know why it's really, really laggy. But the app itself is not laggy only the menu for it. If you go all the way to the bottom, it tells you the quick gestures to use on the keyboard. So this is the keyboard right here. If I wanna put a capital letter for the H, I just hold it and swipe up, and now it's a capital. And then let's say I'm typing, I put space and then swipe up and it's a capital. But then one thing that I notice is that when you're typing fast, it does not show that you're clicking it on the keyboard, which is kind of confusing. That does not show up unless you kind of hold it. On the backspace, if you press it and hold up, it's gonna delete the previous word, not just one letter. But if you press it like this, it's gonna delete one letter at a time. So this app is good, but it needs some getting used to to work with. The next app is called Free MP3 Search, and this is one of the recent apps I've found to download free music. A lot of you have been asking for this. Basically, this app can just download free music for you guys. I'm just switch out of that keyboard, and this app can find like even small artists. So I'll search someone like Marvin Divine. This guy has around 20,000 subscribers on YouTube. He's not that big, and as you can see, I found almost every single one of his songs. And this guy is even known. He doesn't even have like a record album or anything. Just a small guy on YouTube, and it found him. Now you can search Eminem, you can search either by artist or the song name. If I click the song, you can actually listen to it and go back and do whatever you want, or you can download it. Now it's downloading, and when it's done, it shows up over here and in your music browser. I'm sorry if I'm going a little fast. I'm actually late for dinner over at my sister's house, and I have to rush this. Everyone's actually already over there. So the next app is called All in One Toolbox. This app clears up memory on your phone to make it much faster than it was. So I'll do a quick boost right here. And now it says it killed 75 apps and it cleared up a bunch of space to make my phone faster. Now you do this if you want to play a game or something so it won't be as laggy. It also has this notification icon in the bottom that shows what your percentage of your Wi-Fi is right here. And then if I go up, it shows the CPU, the RAM, the SD card, how much is filled up. If I go to process, I can see which apps are running and I can kill them right here. If I go to tools, this is the cool part right here. You get a bunch of tools right here. You can actually download more plugins from the Play Store to work with this app. Now I downloaded one plugin so far, it's called Ad Detect Plugin. It shows you all the apps on your phone that come up with ads. You can click it and choose to install it right away. It tells you where the provider of the ad comes from and it goes really in depth. You can check out all these settings to go through. The next app is called the Pirate Bay Browser. And this is a website called the Pirate Bay which has a bunch of torrents. You can download free movies from this. And then if you go to the settings right here, click top categories, you can actually select Android apps, Android games. And then when you go back, it'll show up right here as Android apps and then Android games. If I click the Android apps, it's gonna show me the top files for the Android apps. So now I can click this that says 400 plus Android paid applications. I can download over 400 Android application straight from this app. Once you click download, it's gonna come up with this menu. Now this is a different app called T-Torrent. I'll have a link for it right under this app in the description of the video. And then you click download and it'll download 400 apps and then you can install them separately, whichever app you want, and then delete the rest. You can even search for what app you want. You can go back and search for games. And also once you swipe again, you can change the theme of the app. So if I want it lighter, I can change it to that and now it's a lighter theme. The next app is called Sound Volume Amplifier and this song basically just boosts your volume. Now I'll just click it right here and now it's gonna load and it says increasing volume, please wait. Once it's done, it's just done and wherever you go on your phone, it supposedly is supposed to be louder and from what I read in the reviews, almost every single person said it, that it got louder. Now if I play a song, I'm not sure if it's louder or not, but it sounds pretty loud. I mean, I mean, I don't really notice it, but I'm sure it's louder. A lot of people in the review said it did get louder, like almost 200 out of like 210 or five stars, which is pretty good. So check this app out. The next app is called Face Switch. You can put a face right here of your friend or you, and also another face right here, and you align the eyes, and once you click start, it's gonna come up as the first person on top right here, and then you can go by brush to like delete, and then show up the previous picture like before it. So now it just looks creepy, as that guy shown in the background, I can remove the lips, to show up the beard on an old lady. So now that guy is in the background, and if you delete it, as you can see, you just delete the background to get into the other picture. And you can come out with pretty funny results, depending on how the picture looks. Now the more clear it is, the funnier it looks. Now look at that, the eye is different than the other eye, it just looks weird and creepy. You can switch it around to make the other picture on top, and this picture on the bottom, and it works the other way around. You can make how big the brush is or how small. 
Now, once you're done, you can just click done and it'll take you to a photo editing app, which is inside the app itself. You can go into effects and add to this. And once you're done, you click done and then click save, or you can share it with another app that you want to share it with. So, I hope you guys enjoyed these apps. Here's a comment of the week right here. If you want to be on my next video, make sure to comment on this video. Tell me what you think of my videos, what you think of me, what you think of anything on the world, anything. I just want to hear it in the comments down below. So make sure to comment down there if you want to be in my next episode. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave me a like and make sure to subscribe if you got an Android. And like always, Android for life. Peace. Tears for the little dough in my pot. Kids probably wanna go as hard as I do. If I knew that I had another option, I'm grinding by it. Nine and I know no mind. Time is enough. I'm trying to climb it. Damn right, I'm out of my mind. I'm moving product to light of the pot. I got it. I'm probably not gonna stop it till I get popped with a lot of so.